Tonight's story is called The Ugly Duckling. This was Jessica's book for her third birthday. From Tisbury Place Center. One summer day, a mother duck's eggs began to crack. Six little ducklings broke out from their shells. Beep, beep, they cried. Are you all here? Mother asked. One, two, three, four, five, six, she counted. One egg, much bigger than all the others, had not yet hatched. So the mother duck sat and sat on the big egg, and at last it began to crack. Beep, beep, cried the new duckling. Leading her brood to the pond, the mother gasped when she saw the new duckling waddling along, for he was big and ugly. He does not look like the others, she thought. I wonder if he can swim. The duck splashed into the water with the strange little duckling last of all, and he swam merrily with the rest. The mother was pleased, and after a long swim, she marched her children into the barnyard to meet the other birds. Look at that big ugly one, some ducks murmured. They began to laugh and peck at him. Leave him alone, cried the mother. He swims well and he will grow into a fine drake, I'm sure. But day after day, the poor duckling's life in the barnyard grew worse. Not only did the ducks make fun of him, but the chickens' turkeys did as well. Finally, he could stand no more teasing and he ran away. The duckling soon came to a swamp that was surrounded by woods. He fell asleep among the rushes under a friendly moon. The duckling stayed alone in the rushes for two whole days. Then two wild geese came by, wanting to pass the time. You are so ugly that I like you, one of them said. Come with us and we will introduce you to some other geese. But before they could grow, a great big bang, bang rang through the woods. A flat, in a flash, the two wild geese were gone. Hunters and their dogs were coming through the wood. The duckling looked about him. In the distance, he saw an enormous dog with its tongue hanging out of its mouth. The dog came closer and closer, but after a good look the ugly, at the ugly duckling, it barked and ran off the other way. Thank goodness, the ugly duckling cried. When he was sure it was safe, the ugly duckling spread his wings and began to fly away. Flying was difficult, for it was his first flight and there was a strong wind, but he kept on till evening when he came to a little tumble-down cottage. The tired blind bird slipped inside the cottage. It belonged to an old woman who lived there with a tomcat and a hen. What good luck, said the old woman when she saw the ugly duckling. We shall have duck eggs to eat if this duck doesn't turn out to be a drake. The hen the tomcat crept closer to the drake. Can you lay eggs, the hen asked. Can you purr or arch your back, the tomcat asked. No, said the young drake, but I can swim and fly. Swim? Fly? The hen crackled. What earthly good is swimming or flying? You should learn to lay eggs. Or purr, added the grinning tomcat. I had best be on my way, said the drake, whose heart was beating quite fast. He left the cottage at once and flew it into the marsh. Outside in the autumn winds were howling and the young drake was happy to swim and dive in the water, but he felt all alone. One frosty evening, a block of beautiful white birds flew overhead. The young drake felt strange when he saw them and he cried out to them and spun around the water, but soon the large birds were out of sight. The weather grew colder and one night the pond froze and the drake was stuck fast in the ice. The next morning a kind peasant came by and when he saw the shivering bird he broke the ice with his wooden clogs and carried him home. The peasant's children wanted to play with the bird and they began to chase him. He flew in panic up and knocking over a pitcher of milk. It crashed the floor along with some china. Oh, the peasant's wife cried, raising her hands in anger. This frightened the bird still more and he flew into the new butter and then on into the flour bin. Out of my house before you spoil all the food, the woman cried. And she drove the young drake outdoors again. For the rest of the winter, the drake slept in the marsh grass. When the sun began to shine warm again, he awoke. His feathers were a lighter colour now, and when he stretched his wings, he found they were big and strong. How good it felt to fly under the warm sunshine. 
The drake flew until he came to a splendid garden. There was a pond, and on it glided three of the beautiful white birds he had seen before. The drake fluttered into the water. They will not let me swim with them, he thought sadly, but at least I can gaze at them in all their beauty. The swan swam closer, and the drake bowed his head as they passed. But there, as he looked in the water, what did he see? A graceful, long-necked white bird looked back at him, and this bird was lovelier than all the others. The drake had been a swan all along, though none had known it. Now all the beautiful swans were gathering about to welcome him. Two, two children ran into the garden. Look, look, cried the boy. There is a new swan. He is loveliest of all, said the girl. The swan was filled with joy. I never thought I should know such happiness, he said to himself, when I was but an ugly duckling. Good night, everybody.